Hello and welcome back to Norfolk Fords. Today I've got a very exciting announcement. So for those who have been subscribed long enough, for the past three years I've just had my third harvest of what I call the barley project. The barley project is officially over. We're going to have to stop calling it the barley project because things have gotten out of hand. What we have done, well, what I have done, what have I, what have I gotten myself into, really? So, currently, I am stood on a new field to me. This is a new field to me because I applied for a tenancy. So we're stood on a new field to me currently, which is quite exciting, nice to get new fields. But it's not just this one. I have probably gotten in over my head a little bit because there's a lot more to uh, do this next coming year. I have just signed myself into a five year tenancy agreement with the Groves family for New Common Marsh Farm. I was at the peak of the barley project, 60 acres, which was a decent enough job as a hobby to afford me the TM165 but it all started out with the 4610 as we know. So now from the 4610 to the TM, we have now developed further into um, taking on an additional 173 acres, making my total acreage around 230 acres, which isn't too bad when you're 24. This is the equivalent of 173.9 football pitches. So, what is the plan? The plan is, first lot of winter wheats, which is quite exciting. I've just done barley, hence why we've just called it the Barley Project. Still going to do a fair chunk of barley. It's what I'm, I'm familiar with at this point after three years, so there's still going to be a good bit of that. We're excited to get into sugar beet as well. Should be some good opportunities. I'm being bitten alive. Should be some good opportunities in the future with sugar beet. We're also looking at a few sublets for potatoes and carrots. So we'll see how all of that goes. But my, my primary focus will be on cereal production, as I have been with the Massey 30 drill. We're not looking to upgrade the Massey drill just yet. The budget is being stretched like bilio. As you can imagine, 60 acres to then jumping up to 230 is quite the jump. Even though I have had a decent crop of barley this year, I've had three lorry load go for malting and I've got a fourth which is only feed, but still pretty good off of 50 acres. So, what else have we got to think about? We've got all the cultivations to do. There's um, a bit of a black grass problem that I need to get on top of in my five years, um, just so that I'm guaranteed a, a better yield. You know, for anybody who's in agriculture, everybody knows that black grass is a pain, and uh, the more you can do, the better. You might be able to hear in the background as well, there is a tractor somewhere over there. That's Dad. He's currently in the sprayer. He is rounding up everything and uh, we're going to do some ploughing shortly. So make sure you like and subscribe for a little bit of uh, TM ploughing porn. Um, whatever perks have I got with this tenancy really? Well, for the first time ever, I'm about to move out. This farm comes with a house. It's a very handsome house, it's a very large house. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to do with it apart from fill it with tractor models. Um, the house is from 1880, so uh, it's good solid walls. I tell you what, it's in the height of summer. I've been going in measuring up for furniture and stuff with Chloe, and uh, it retains heat very well to the point where um, I think we're going to have to get a couple of fans. So that's very exciting. But the main thing that excites me is um, we've got sheds for the first time. These are proper closable sheds ready to be decently crop assured so we can actually start storing crop after next harvest um, to hopefully get those better prices as you store longer the way the grain markets tend to work. 
Um, there's obviously a lot more work involved on just the maintenance side. I've got to look into getting a drain jetter really, just to look after my under drains. Uh, luckily Dad's got a hedge cutter. I've got a little um, backhoe which was on the 4610 a little while ago in a video. So we can maintain all the drainage quite nicely. Quite lucky though because most of my dikes around me are main drains maintained by the internal drainage board. Luckily my mate Matt um, has got my phone number so I've been able to ring him and say Oi, can you just uh, get on top of these dikes because we're about to plant some daffodils. And he rocked up the same day, so thank you, Matt. That was pretty damn cool. It's a very exciting opportunity. I'm very grateful for the fact that at my younger age that um, I've been considered and taken seriously. This is a, a huge step for somebody my age. You know, 230 acres is definitely going to be um, a handful. It's definitely going to um, take a lot more of my time away from the family farm on the, the flower side of things, but we will still be uh, very much backing British flowers, as we all should be. So yeah, I don't really know what else to tell you, apart from give the video a like, a subscribe, and share it about, you know, this is exciting news. A young person has actually been given an opportunity in agriculture. I think that's pretty damn amazing, and I'm very excited for it. There's uh, there's a lot to consider, there's a lot to do. Um, quite nervous about everything that's got to be done, you know. This is a very, well, everybody says there's not enough hours in the day and yeah, there really isn't enough hours in the day, you know. Yeah, we've got a few more uh, projects coming for the channel which we're looking forward to, so make sure you subscribe for them. Of course, part of this farmyard is there's a workshop. So the 4610 may actually get its final bit of TLC, and it may be considered a, a, it may be considered a finished tractor eventually. Now that we've got our own workshop, we can lock the key and just leave it as we find it, which will be a nice change. Because as much as I love the workshop at home, everybody's in there, so uh, always got to be courteous and making sure we're leaving it as we find it. Whereas about to have my own workshop. We can leave this stripped out for days. Oh God, I'm gonna leave it stripped out for days. Yeah, we've got some more um, Owen and Jamie reviews queued up in the future. There's a few more exciting machines to have a look at. Um, yeah, don't really know what else to say. Um, yeah, apart from very excited for the opportunity, very grateful that I've been given it. There's a lot to do, so um, I suppose I'd better crack on. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's crack on. Mm -hmm. 